Hi all, my name is Mina. Um, I've decided to get my hair cut yet again. First time I think I got my hair cut was sometime in 2016. Grew it to, to about 2018. It got a bit, I had a few issues with um, dandruff and um, a bit of, bit of scalp tenderness. So I cut it cut again sometime in 2019. Grew it out and then with this whole lockdown business, I got it cut again. But I've recently been studying um, about Ayurvedic hair care. Oh my gosh, it's a whole new world. And I've decided that I'm going to grow my hair out again. But this time using all natural. So I'm going to use Ayurvedic um, oils, treatments, um, creams, and all natural um, products as much as possible on my hair. Um, so this is what my hair looks like at the moment. I am going to the barber tomorrow, so I will show you what it looks like after the barber has been about his business and my hair. My hair actually is quite long, so I'm going to bring my hair sort of down to this level. I'm not sure how long this is, but my hair at the top is, you know, it's quite long. A lot of shrinkage, but I want the hair, you know, the hair even at the moment. I don't tend to wear makeup. Mostly because um, I'm trying to deal with some acne on my face and get rid of some scars. So as much as possible, I don't wear makeup. So my videos will be me as plain and natural as possible with um, just my typical skincare, which is benzoic acid at the moment. And also a product which was recommended by a YouTuber I've been following for many years. She used to be called That Evil Chick, shout out. But now her name is Dima Ume. Um, the product is Yves Rocher 4-in-1 Blemish Cream. I'll put the link to the product below. Um, so this is my hair now. Tomorrow, after they cut, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I will try as much as possible to vlog once a week or every other week. Just so you see what my hair is doing. I will also put... Um, share with you products I have been using on my hair most of the products I use I make at home they're DIY so it will be like clay masks um, Ayurvedic hair butters Ayurvedic oils now you know just a little bit about Ayurveda it's they're mostly herbs so it's mostly the use of herbs and spices um, infused into oils so you have oils that have been infused with herbs and spices and the essence is that it's meant to stimulate hair growth and as much as possible, it's best to use natural products. And the interesting thing I found out about these spices is a lot of them can actually be ingested. They're things that, you know, Ayurveda is a, is an, it's a practice that has been going on for over 5,000 years. And when you look at Indian women and their nice, long, luscious, black, shiny hair, you know, these are things that they use. So this is my journey. My journey starts today. Well, it's going to start tomorrow once I get my hair cut. <laughs> but this is it. Um, you can subscribe. If you want to see what I'm doing with my hair, a lot of the products I'm using are, I try to stick to um, products for a long period of time. My, I will show you how I make my oil. My oil is <laughs> quite interesting. It's got lots of products in there. It's meant to be really healthy. And along the way, I'll tell you what each of the different herbs which are in the oil actually do and how they're good for the hair and the skin. But yeah, just I'll come at you with what we're like at the moment. Where are we starting from? where we are starting from see the back of the hair we've got some in the mouth so we're going to try and bring the hair down to this level here and that's it so look forward to seeing you in the next video bye